Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls for when the lights go out. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up nice and warm and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight, because tonight's story is called Too Many Elephants in This House by Ursula Dobosowski and Andrew Joyner. And a big shout out to all the listeners and amazing authors who are supporting the Lights Out Bedtime Stories mission for a thousand ad free stories forever for boys and girls around the world. And as a special thanks to my 2,000 plus Spotify followers, I'm giving away thousands of books on martinkenneth.com. That's right, M A R T Y N K E N N E T H. Dot com. Go and have a look and download some books so you can be read a story. But back to this story. Too many elephants in this house. Once upon a time, in Eric's house, there were too many elephants. There was an elephant in the living room. There was an elephant in the kitchen. There was an elephant in the hallway. There was an elephant in the bathroom. There was even an elephant in Eric's bedroom. Sometimes a whole herd of them. One day, Eric's mother said, There are too many elephants in this house. They've got to go. No, cried Eric. Not my elephants. Eric loved his elephants, every single one of them. The elephant in the living room helped him build towers with his blocks. The elephant in the kitchen was good at making toast. He could play hide-and-seek with the elephant in the hallway, and the elephant in the bathroom always reminded him to brush his teeth. And the elephants in his bedroom sang him to sleep at night. It's no good, Eric's mother said. I can't move for all these elephants. But what? could Eric do? He could take the elephants to the zoo. But there were already enough elephants in the zoo. He could take them back to Africa. But how could he ever get that many elephants on a plane? Or he could just leave the back gate open at night and let them all escape. Eric decided he'd better not do that. Finally, He had just the right idea. He found a very, 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 very big box. He cut a hole in the top for a chimney. He cut a hole in the back for a window. He cut another hole in the front for a door. Look, elephants, said Eric. The elephants looked. They wondered. It's a house, said Eric, just for you. Of course, an elephant's house, just for elephants. One by one, in a long elephant line, all the elephants went in to the elephant house. When the last elephant was inside, Eric shut the door. There are too many elephants in this house, Eric said. After that, whenever he wanted to play with the elephants, Eric would just go to the door and shout, Come on out, elephants! And out they came, ready for anything. The end. Well, Too Many Elephants in This House by Ursula de Bosarski and Andrew Joyner A definite must-read for anybody who likes elephants. And that's here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.